Hello Conversion Nation, here's your Bluebeam tip of the day. Today we're going to be talking about highlighting using the My Tools section of your tool chest. Now this is a very short tip, but from what I've found it's um, starting to become very helpful. So what we're going to do here is very quick. When you go through, say, a document and you want to do some highlights to a document, most likely you'll grab the highlighter tool and then you start to highlight and you got to change the colors. And there's, you know, a few steps involved in, you know, making some highlights and changing the different colors and whatnot. A, I found a tip that allows you to make quick highlights and it allows you some keyboard shortcuts to move the process along faster. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create, I've already created one, but I'm going to create another one. We're going to create, say, a green highlight. And in this green highlight, we're going to go to the actual box icon here. We're going to create the color and the fill color, um, both green. And then we're going to change the fill opacity to, say, 30%. And we're going to change the opacity of the line to 30% as well. And we're going to change the, um, the line outside the box to a straight line. And then we're going to go on the page here and then we're going to draw, let's just say a highlight about this long. And you can see if I zoom in here, oops, sorry, if I zoom in, you can see that you know, the data is about the size of the text. Then we're going, to, we're going to zoom out using our scroll wheel. And then from here, we're going to right click and we're going to add this to the tool chest. And we're going to pick my tools and I'll show you the reason why we're going to pick my tools. Once that's done, you can simply delete this, this, um, color and if you look over to the left here you will see I have an 11 and a 12 now in my tools it assigns keyboard shortcut commands based on the numbers up here on the top of the icon so if I type in a, if I put my mouse on the screen and I type 12 on the keyboard I will automatically get the green highlight I can highlight as needed I can stretch it across the page and I'm done if I wanted to now put a yellow highlight on the page I would hit 11 and then I could highlight this area on the page as well now for the offices specifically in uh, say San Francisco, we've talked about highlighting bid documents for um, you know blue meaning money, yellow meaning caution, and red meaning you know watch out for this item. So what I found in creating these highlights, being able to manage documents fast, you can create a red, yellow, and green highlight, add them to your My Tools, and then just use your key court key um, key commands to add the highlights to the section as uh, needed. All you do is you put your mouse over the page, you click one, two, it'll automatically populate. You can put on the page and then size it to your needs. And then these items will also be accurately called out in the bottom. You could then go in here and you could click on this one. And then if you wanted to put in the comment section, you know, this is gonna be, let's just say, um, liquidated damages. Um, and then that way, if you want to say, hey, where's the liquidated damages section? And let's just say you're on page eight of the document, you can go right to it and there it is. So there's a quick way to create some custom highlight tools and then create some data within the, the base of the Bluebeam um, so that you can actually search for these items. Another thing too is let's just say you have a um, hundred comments in here and a hundred markups. You can always go to the search tab and type in LIQ. It'll find it right away. You can click on it and go right to the page. So there's a very simple way to add um, some custom highlighting tools um, to add them to the drawings. I can delete this now and um, or to a spec page or even to a drawing and have some keyboard shortcut commands. So there should do it for the uh, or that should do it for the uh, Bluebeam tip of the day. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.